The award-winning Cannes film It Must Be Heaven kicked off the 7th Ajial Film Festival. The satirical comedy tells the life story of a Palestinian director, an exile who moves to Paris and New York. Ilya Suleiman tackles identity, nationality and belonging, something he shares with many of those taking part in the film festival. It's about the young Qatari talents and it's about the Middle East talent and it's about first and second feature filmmakers and uh, and it's a very important sort of lab. This year's selection of films at Ajiel aims to push boundaries, capturing the harsh realities of those living in war zones. The international award-winning documentary For Summer is the story of a young mother who filmed her life for five years in the besieged Syrian city of Aleppo. Summer. I'm not going Sudanese filmmaker Amjad Abu Alela knows only too well how much politics can influence the filmmaking process. His first feature film, You Will Die at 20, about a young Sudanese boy struggling with a superstitious prophecy isn't political, but Alela says the Sudanese revolution influenced the outcome. After all that killing that happened, I was so angry, I was so nervous, and I think the cut, the last cut, that screening here, it was that angry cut. Beyond universal themes of poverty, human rights and the refugee crisis, half of the films entered at the AGL festival are made by women. Uh, if you look at other countries also here in the region, including Qatar, the women are, you know, stepping up and sharing their own stories. The film festival attracts international stars hoping to share their experiences and insider tips with young audiences. Hollywood, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's been breaking down those barriers and now there's getting more inclus you know, inclusivity and they're, they're, they're starting to wake up a little bit and I think that's really important and for me it's important to meet other filmmakers from different parts of the world. Ajial, which means generations in Arabic, is one of many festivals championing young filmmakers through funding and mentoring. Filmmakers and actors from this region are increasingly gaining recognition worldwide, but it's film festivals just like this one that are bringing local homegrown talent to the international film circuit. Bridging the gap between Arabic cinema and the rest of the world isn't easy, but with actors like Rami Malik making history this year by winning Best Actor at the Oscars for his portrayal of rock star Freddie Mercury, many aspiring youngsters believe it could be them one day. Zara Khairat, Al Jazeera.